Kurt Hectic never wanted to be a hero. He was content with his life and wanted to live out his years in quiet, dignified anonymity. Sadly, it was not to be. Kurt was employed as a janitor for Dr. Fluke Hawkins, eccentric man of science. The messes were large, but the pay was good. So when Hawkins left, Kurt followed. Little did he know what was to come. The doctor had wished for a place away from his detractors, away from those that thought him mad. With janitor in tow, he left the earth, vowing to return only when his genius was proven. The greatest of the doctor's inventions in exile was the six-legged canine, Max. Max was the perfect assistant, and his appreciation of firepower made him a fine watchdog as well. All was peaceful until the invasion. Aliens from a strange dimension attacked the Earth, arriving on energy streams and landing great mine crawlers to destroy everything in their path. The forces of Earth were helpless before the onslaught. Dr. Hawkins had to act. Kurt was outfitted in an untested coil suit and sent to try and disable the machines. He was reluctant, but he had no choice. He was the Earth's last hope. Kurt fought valiantly, driving to the very heart of the invasion. There he challenged the alien leader, a grotesque creature named Gunter Glutt, and with Max's aid, Kurt was victorious. As their leader fell, the invasion crumbled and the aliens retreated, their tails between their legs. In their wake, they left the earth battered, despoiled, even ruined, but not beaten. No, not beaten. Now, with the aliens routed and order restored, our heroes can return to their normal everyday lives. Or can they? Only time will tell. Come toast, Kurt. You've done well. Everything's Jake for sure. Uh, yeah. Well, whatever. Don't sell yourself short. Those aliens never knew what hit them. A major setback for them, I'm certain. Yeah, I'm glad it's over. Yes, it's all over. I just knew it. Mine crawler in sector 8675309. 530. Good gravy! That's Edmonton! Well, Kurt, I hope you're up to saving the world one more time, Ed! You sure are quick to send me down. You're the man for the job! Max and I will help if we can, but for now it's up to you! Jinkies! I'm so proud! Before you begin your assault, Kurt, I've got to refresh your memory on how to use the coil suit. Use X, Y, B, and A to move around. Try pressing two buttons at the same time for diagonal movement. Use the analog stick to both look up and down and turn from side to side. Once you're comfortable moving about, stand by the arrow in the center of the room and face the exit.
This is where we begin with the shooting. Use the right trigger to fire your chain gun and aim with the analog stick. Destroy those targets in front of the exit. I've placed a grenade somewhere close by. Walk over to it and add it to your inventory. Right, now to throw it. Press up on the D-pad. Smashing! Now let's learn to jump and use your parachute. Look for the lowest floating platform in this room. Run toward it and jump on it by pressing the left trigger. Now, jump to the platform closest to you. Now, try a pair of jump to the next platform. Press and hold both the left trigger and the Y button to glide to your target. Try jumping onto that nearest platform, Kurt. You'll notice you can't land feet first on that one, but you can jump high enough to grab onto the ledge and pull yourself up. Right! Enough jumping around, lad! I've turned on a fan in the middle of the room. Stand on it and open your parachute. By holding your parachute open in the updraft, you'll be able to reach the large platform above you. Now let's teach you how to use your sniper scope. First, get the sniper grenade by bumping into it. Now, Stand by the arrow at the edge facing the exit. Press down on the D-pad to enter sniper mode. Use the analog stick to look around. Press Y and A to zoom in and out. X and B straight and right trigger fires. Shoot the two small targets near the door. Yeah. <laughs> 